Good morning, gamers. Hello. If you've been around Savage Rating at all, you've probably heard of the term buff alignment. So what is buff alignment? Why is it important? And how can you work on aligning buffs with your party or raid team? While buff alignment is basically just using your party's raid buffs at the same time, its primary purpose is to make sure the team's raid buffs are used at a specific time in the fight when everyone is theoretically using their highest potency abilities. Or more simply put, you want to use your buffs on your party members when they'll be doing the most amount of damage. Luckily, jobs Final Fantasy XIV go through cycles or loops where the bulk of their hard hitting abilities are used within a short amount of time together. In most cases, these times lie in areas of the fight often referred to as odd or even minute burst windows, which basically just specifies whether jobs are a one minute job, i.e. they do a lot of damage every one minute, or they're a two minute job where they do a lot of damage every two minutes. These burst windows are frequently a result of players looping or preserving resources on their job to make sure they can fit as much potency as possible into people's raid buffs. Let's look at Astrologen and Samurai as an example. Astrologen's major raid buff is Divination, a flat 6% damage buff to the party for 15 seconds. Samurai on the other hand does not have a raid buff, but Samurai is viewed as one of the largest contributors of potency to raid buffs in the game. So when we look at the recommended Astrologen opener from the balance, Astro's raid buff, Divination, is shown to be used at around 7 to 8 seconds into the fight. So we'll say 8 seconds for simplicity. And when we look at the recommended opener for Samurai from the Balance Discord, we can see that the Samurai Burst should start right around 8 seconds into the fight. Now, from that 8 second point in the fight and for the following 15 second duration of Divination, the Balance opener for Samurai shows that the Samurai will have used all of their hard hitting abilities or high potency abilities and cooldowns for a total potency of 8,640. That means the Samurai not only dealt 8,640 potency, but they gained an additional 6% potency on each ability, as well as their dot ticks from Higginbana, bringing their total potency in this 15 second window from 8,640 to 9,158 for a net potency gain of just over 500. So what would have happened if the Astrologen in our example used Divination on pull at 0 seconds rather than holding it until 8 seconds into the fight like the balance recommends? In this scenario, the total base potency a Samurai would be doing in their opener from 0 to 15 seconds is 5,370, assuming the Higginbana lands within 15 seconds. And under the effects of Divination, that would bring their total potency to 5,692, resulting in a net potency gain of 322 from Divination. So when we compare that to the normal Astro timing of using Divination at roughly 8 seconds into the fight, the Astrologen is losing roughly 200 potency for the raid's damage if Divination is used at 0 seconds rather than 8 seconds. And that's just looking at the potency gains from Samurai for one buff window. As you can imagine, this potency delta or difference grows as you start adding in other jobs to your party that may have a ramp up time to burst in their opener or may have their own raid buff to manage. Ninja's Trick Attack for example, a 5% damage taken increase to a target for your entire party that lasts for 15 seconds is also used at 7 to 8 seconds into the fight. So the same principle can be applied if you were looking at the samurai potency gains under the effects of trick attack. But something to keep in mind is that ninja on its own also has a very high burst potential to optimize under trick attack. So not only is the ninja's timing of trick attack designed to encase as much of their code DPS's potency, it's also designed to fit as much of the ninja's hard hitting potency abilities as well. Thus we arrive at why theory crafters work together to create openers that place raid buffs around the 7 to 8 second mark for these 15 second raid buffs. That reason being to fit as much potency as possible into these raid buffs. So why is buff alignment important? The main reason is because it provides free damage that your party can gain by just pressing your cooldowns at the right time. In a pug setting, such as a random group that you've joined in Party Finder, your expectation should be that you'll use your buff on cooldown as it comes available after the opener because it's safe to assume the others in your party will be pressing things off cooldown as well. This would mean for our Astrologen example where they use divination at 8 seconds into the fight, the next divination should go out at 2 minutes 8 seconds, then 4 minutes and 8 seconds, then 6 minutes and 8 seconds, etc. to make sure that their divination is staying synced with the other raid buffs in their party Party, as well as the other burst windows from non-buff classes. So okay, we've defined buff alignment, we've gone into some math, we've talked about why it's important, but how do we actually go about making sure that our buffs are 
aligned. In a pre-made setting, there are a couple of tools you can utilize outside of just watching the buffs in your party list or watching the buffs in your buff bar. Those tools being FF logs and the XIV analysis timeline. For those who may be unfamiliar, XIV analysis is a website that allows you to enter an FF log link and get a generalized overlook of what you did in a fight. Not only is it great for new players who may be wondering what major issues they're having in their rotation, it's also amazing for people who benefit from looking at a representation or diagram, as it takes the entire fight and condenses it into a nice and digestible timeline that you can utilize to not only see your rotation, but also your group's buff alignment. Which you can see by these nice buff bars, with the front of the icon representing when the buff went out and the line showing its duration. This will give you a rough idea or picture of how in sync you and your team were. And it's my preferred method of quick checking buff timings and GCD placement. Something to keep in mind, however, is that the timeline in XIV analysis is not a perfect tool as it's more focused on showing you a more consumable diagram of what happened rather than the details. Or in other words, if a GCD looks really close to being in a buff, it's probably best to go check the actual log on FF logs and see what happened. This is where diving into the event log comes into play as it allows you to see whether or not an ability was actually buffed when it landed. To do this, open the report and click on the fight you're curious about. Once you have the fight open, select the damage tab and then click on events on the right side. Where it says all sources, click on the player whose damage ability or global is in question, then scroll down or go to the next page until you find the time in the fight you're looking for. The buffs will be shown on the right hand column and a total percent damage increase will be shown as well. Like I said, I personally like looking at XIV analysis for the quick digestible timeline. But if there's ever something that looks close or I'm not sure about or I want to know more information on, that's when I'll dive into the log to see what actually happened. So I hope this video was at least able to introduce you to what buff alignment is, or maybe it even helped you learn how to utilize buff alignment a bit more. If there are any other raid related videos you would like to see me do in the future, feel free to let me know in the comments or drop by one of my Twitch streams. I usually stream our raids in the evening or sporadically on the weekends when we can get together and I'd be more than happy to chat and answer any questions that you may have. As always, thank you so much for watching my video and have a great day. Goodbye.